Welcome to Next News. The state government of Oshun State, Nigeria, has requested that 95% of the 2009 batch of youth corps members be posted to teach in the state's primary and secondary schools. Earlier this week, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Mr. Adejari Bello, appealed to the Oshun State Wing of the National Union of Teachers to tell its members to resume work, as a five-week-old strike had not been in the interest of the students, teachers, and the state. A question mark was thrown over Nigeria's World Cup qualifier against Mozambique when the Nigerian Football Federation's office in Abuja was boggled on Wednesday night and the sum of $200,000 was stolen. The Secretary General of the Federation, Bolaji Ojoba, said everyone is stunned by the incident but is hopeful that the money will be recovered. Mr. Ojoba has said that the incident will have no effect whatsoever on next week's 2010 World Cup qualifying match between the Super Eagles and Mozambique in Maputo. Governor Bukola Saraki has forwarded a bill to the State House of Assembly in Kwara State, Nigeria, seeking compulsory immunization of children under the age of five. The Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Masood Adebinkwe, said in the state's capital, Ilori, on Thursday that with the amendment of the bill, parents who refuse to immunize their wards will have committed an offense punishable by law. The call for the amendment comes in the wake of a meningitis and Lassa fever outbreak in parts of northern Nigeria. The African Union has suspended Madagascar after the army forced out the president and installed the opposition leader in his place. Although the handover in Madagascar was not a straightforward military seizure of power, an AU official said it had not been constitutional. New president Andri Rajoelina on Thursday suspended parliament and held his first cabinet meeting since taking power. He is due to be inaugurated at a ceremony in the capital on Saturday. English Premiership clubs Chelsea and Liverpool have faced off in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League in three of the past four campaigns, but this time around, they meet a stage earlier. Likely semi-final opponents for the winners will be the two leading scorers in the competition this term, Bayern Munich and Barcelona. Liverpool and Chelsea are about to meet for the 23rd time in the last five seasons, having met in Europe in each of their last five Champions League campaigns. Other fixtures are Villarreal vs Arsenal, Manchester United vs FC Porto, and Barcelona vs Bayern Munich. Medical reports have revealed that British actress Natasha Richardson died from bleeding in her skull. According to the Huffington Post, Ellen Barakovi, a spokeswoman for the New York City Medical Examiner's Office, called her death an accident, which she might have survived had she received immediate treatment. Nearly four hours elapsed between her lethal fall and her admission to a hospital. The Tony-winning actress died as a result of epidural hematoma, which causes bleeding between the skull and the brain's covering. Thank you for watching Next News. For more information on these or any other stories, please visit our website at www.234next.com. Thank you.